In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant that your people, we pray, Almighty God, may be ever watchful for the coming of your only begotten Son, that as the author of our salvation himself has taught us, we may hasten, alert with lighted lamps, and meet him when he comes, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I, the Lord your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity would be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would be like the sand and those born of your stock like its grains. Their name never cut off or blotted out from my presence. The word of the Lord. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They who they are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow the Lord will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? 
It is like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. Where John came, neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came, eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Thank you. So let me ask you this. What does it mean to be open-minded? What does it mean to be open-minded? Open to the Word of God, or, or just in our own relations, if, if you're having a conversation with someone, maybe a friend, maybe someone you're just getting to know, and they're explaining their self, um, we need to be open-minded to where they're coming from and, and just take them where they are and just be open and receptive to who they are. And that's what's going on in today's gospel. There are listeners to Jesus. He's growing in popularity. And there are some who just stop everything, change their ways, change their life, and follow him. And in today's gospel, there are some that are just not so sure. They're not very open-minded to Jesus. And Jesus says, John the Baptist came, and you weren't open-minded to him. They, uh, you thought he was maybe, what's the Spanish word for crazy? Loco? They thought he was crazy, loco, because he lived the way he did, very austere, very uh, simple, lived on um, wild honey and locusts. And then Jesus comes around, and he's eating with tax collectors and sinners, and he, he eats a lot and drinks a lot, apparently, and they say, Jesus must be a bad guy. And Jesus is making the point that you're not open and receptive to John the Baptist, the greatest prophet of all, and me. Some of you are open-minded, and some of you have closed off your minds, and you've closed off your hearts. So to be a follower of Jesus we need to be open-minded to what Jesus is saying. And we need to have our hearts open to changing our ways. We can get set in our ways, and especially these old people back here. That generation, um, actually the church should be more full. In fact, there should be standing room only. There should be people who... Um, are retired, it could come to Mass, but they maybe are just a little closed-minded. But we have these people back here that brave the elements to be here because they open their heart and their minds to the good news of Jesus Christ. And so look at these old people right here. We should give them a round of applause. They just braved the... Yay! They braved the elements. They could still be in bed. They could just be, just I'll get up later. But they came here because of their love and their open-mindedness and their open heart to being receptive to the word of God and the good news of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And whoever believes in him will have eternal life. May it be so. So be open like these old people back here. These old people who come day after day, they probably change their ways at some stage of their life. They might have been like you and me, just kind of closed off and kind of, I've got everything figured out. But they were open to the way, the truth, and the life. And that's a good example for us. So we should model and we should actually interview them sometimes. It's just like, why do you love Jesus so much? That'd be a good homework assignment for you. Why do you love Jesus so much? That's a good thing for us to consider so that when we grow up, we'll be open-minded and our heart full of love for Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us stand and offer our prayers to the Lord. Holy. 
holy church, may the Lord raise up holy men and women to humbly labor on her behalf. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders of nations, may the Lord inspire them in ways of peace and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who suffer physically or emotionally, may Jesus bring them comfort and assure them of his love. Let us pray to the Lord. For this community of faith, may the Holy Spirit continue to encourage and aid us in our baptismal vocation to holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died under the banner of faith, may perpetual light shine upon them, and may they rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people gathered here this morning. We ask all of these needs through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Root of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offering, and since we have no merit to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. For he assumed at the first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all at last is made manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with the hosts of power of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Carl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, Lord, through our partaking of this mystery, we may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.